try to explain the capital flowing um, uphill rather than downhill is a big issue in economics because it not only helps us understand why some countries haven't developed, why their levels of income are so low compared to the advanced world, which of course is the most important problem facing economics in the world, but it also helps us explain elements of the causes of the financial crisis. Countries which had high levels of income were borrowing from poorer countries to further their income levels and further their levels of consumption. So it led to a distortion. But why the distortion occurred, um, again, is an important research question in economics. Now, could it be there are insufficient property rights in, um, let's, let's call them low-income countries? Could there be insufficient opportunities for domestic investment? Perhaps the government isn't working in a complementary manner with private capital to bring about availability of capital uh, opportunities. There are a whole raft of issues that have led to impediments for domestic absorption of capital in low-income countries. And I've said before, not only holds back their level of income growth, but also has led to the accumulation of debt in the advanced world.